Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are bringing you something we haven't done in a while, which is a toy review. Uh, because, you know, I just really like these new reimagined Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that Playmates Toys has put out. So I just wanted to get on and give you my thoughts on these amazing Ninja Turtles. These, uh, in my opinion, they're the best thing that's come out in a while for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you're watching this, if you're first time here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And check out our other videos that are not really like this, but let's dive into the new reimagined Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Playmates. First up, I wanna talk about the box that they come in. It's got a nice retro feel to, you know, the classic card backs. Um, it's got the 40 years of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sticker. Um, and yeah, it even says 1988 remastered. This is much like Mattel's Masters of the Universe Origins line, where they just take the original figure and add more articulation to it, which I think is genius. Um, you know, we love the, the, the vintage toys. We just wish they had a little bit more capability and that's what these offer. That's what the Masters of the Universe Origins line offers. Um, and that's done really well. So I'm surprised that it's taken this long for Playmates to get on board and do this, but I am so glad they did. So uh, yeah, box looks great. I love that they come in a box and not a card back. It just gives it a little better feel and coming in right at like the 12, $13 mark. Um, it's nice to have a box, nice uh, clear plastic to display the entire figure. Uh, but let's, let's jump right into uh, this turtle. I'll start with Leo cause he's my favorite. Again, like the wrist, the wrist moves, the arm moves. I mean, we've got so many points of articulation on these guys. The, Ankles move, they move at the knee, they move at the waist. I will say I hate that the belt doesn't come off. I don't know why I hate that, I just do. But again, they went with the matte color finish on the back um, and most of the turtle. Uh, if you compare it to the original Leo, um, he's got more of a shiny satin finish everywhere. And I just think the matte, I've talked about this before, but the, using the matte finish on their colors is just a better look in my opinion. You can see a side-by-side -side comparison of Leo, the remastered Leo next to the original Leo. And one thing that people have pointed out uh, is that they switched heads. Not a big deal to me, but a lot of you guys have noticed that they switched Leo and Donnie's head. You can see that here. Uh, but it, it, you know, that's not a big deal to me. I, I kind of like the, the the mix and match of it all. So he comes with this crazy, um, I don't even know what to call this thing. And I don't really, I usually have him holding it like this uh, because I don't really know what to do with it outside of that. Uh, they stand really well. That's my biggest thing with toys. I, I want to be able to stand it up in seconds. I don't want it to have this like, perfect balance stand where he's got to be holding everything just right. And that's what I feel like these original turtles were, you know, they've got this weird, they're up on just two toes in the back. He's got to kind of stand like this. There's not much to do for posing him. Um, just all around love a figure that can just plop down and stand pretty much with no effort. So that's a big plus for me. Uh, guys were complaining about the dimples or pores or whatever you're gonna call them. I think that was just the lighting they used that really showed that they were very porous. But when you have them it, in your hand and you're looking at it, it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's detail. You want, you want detail. Um, you wanna feel like you're getting your money's worth for these figures. And I think it just adds a nice layer of detail to them that actually looks pretty good. Again, like I'm just straight up, oh man, just, he just stands with little to no effort, and I really appreciate that. Here's Donatello. Like we said, he's got technically the original Leonardo's uh, head sculpt, but you know, not a not, not a big not a big concern for me. Uh, 
they're all turtle heads. They're all making facial expressions. Who cares? Uh, he comes with this crazy bow staff that's got a ball and chain on each side of it. Uh, it's almost like a giant nunchuck if you think about it. Um, again, the matte finish. He's the same color uh, as the original Donatello. Leo's the same color as the original Leo. Now, uh, speaking of color, I'll switch over to Raph. All the new reissues and versions of Raph, he's he's a slightly different color green. Uh, this is no different. It's that new green they've been going with for Raph for a while. Uh, it's kind of grown on me. Um, I don't mind it as much. He's got this weird, I don't even, it's like a double hammer bow staff kind of thing. I thought it would be, you know, size on each side. That would have been kind of cool. Um, but they didn't do that. And then his hand allows him to hold this sigh in like the really cool way that everybody likes to put it in. Um, the sighs feel a lot more durable than the original size, like crazy durable. So does, so does all the weapons. All the weapons feel great. Um, he's still got the thing in the back for that. Um, again, I, I just, and then he just stands. I love it. I love it. Who doesn't love that? Last but not least, unless you're me, and then definitely least, we have Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo is that same kind of teal green color that he's always been. And then his nunchucks. Um, he comes with this crazy rope dagger kind of thing. Um, and then his nunchucks have actual I mean, I, I think this is just plastic with metal paint, but it could be metal. Um, I think it is metal. Metal nunchucks, that's kind of cool. They're not beaded. They're not plastic. Uh, they're not going to fall apart easily. Very durable. You're not going to have any problems with these nunchucks with Michelangelo. And it's a little bit tight fit getting the, the weapons in there at first, but you don't feel like you're going to break them. A lot of modern toys, you feel like you're going to break it. NECA, I'm calling you out. Loyal subjects. I'm definitely calling you out. I've broken every single figure I bought from you just by putting it together. Um, but these are fantastic figures. What do my notes say? Okay. Let me talk to you about some of the problems I have with these. Pull over some of their stands. So if you notice, if you look on the back, it kind of shows where that you place these, but you can see that it doesn't snap into place. It's just kind of loose. Um, and I, and I really don't like that. Uh, this one is, it says you're supposed to put it here, but there's this little raised platform. So it doesn't, it's not the same size. So it just kind of teeters. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, I guess if you're just going to display them, you're not going to touch them at all, but um, it, there's not a, there's not like a puzzle piece type cl click in for them. And that drives me nuts. Also, if you take off all their accessories. It's the same exact plate for each one, which I guess, you know, saving money, whatever. And you've got these to kind of mix and match and make it look different. They all snap together uh, from all sides. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know why you do it like that. They've got they've got all the promotional photos shows them like that, but it makes more sense like this because the wall would be the wall. You know what I'm saying? It makes more sense. And then they have, you know, the feet definitely have foot pegs, but uh, or foot holes. Um, but there's no foot pegs on the platform. So it's kind of, and when you get it all kind of together and these are moving around and you're trying to sand them up individually, it, it becomes a little, it becomes a little cumbersome. If you have them on display like this and you bump it a little bit, everything's going to go crazy. You might have to bump it a little harder, but yeah. So that's kind of a complaint. Nothing I'm too worried about. Also, they're almost the same size. The new ones, the new uh, remastered, Ninja Turtles are 
just a tad bit taller, but it also could be because their legs are more stretched out. I still think they're just a tad bit taller regardless. And then I think I got a video about this coming out, but I've got the new pizza shooter. What's great about the remastered Ninja Turtles is they still kind of fit the, well, not kind of, they definitely fit the old toys. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I mean, I could do a better job, but I think you get the picture. So yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say it. There's a lot of stuff coming out for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right now, um, especially with San Diego Comic-Con just finishing up. You know, NECA's putting out a lot of Ninja Turtles. Uh, Super 7's putting out a lot of Ninja Turtles. Loyal Subjects is putting out a lot of Ninja Turtles. Mondo is putting out awesome looking Ninja Turtles. Uh, but out of everything that's coming out, these are by far the best thing we've seen in a while for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy line. And that is a hard opinion, but it is true. We thought these were gonna be great. Then they showed us that one photo with like too much lighting on it. Uh, and we thought they were gonna be bad. And now I think we're all full circle back to them being good. At least I am. What do you think? Uh, leave a comment below and tell me I'm wrong or, you know, let me know that I am in fact right. But yeah, these are the remastered Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Playmates Toys and exclusive to Walmart, I think. That's the only place I'm seeing them right now. Walmart exclusive remastered Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They have all four. I'm hoping you guys love them. They sell out and they do the entire line because these are amazing. Articulated vintage Ninja Turtles. Get on board, let's get them. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me what characters you'd like to see next in the remastered line. Um, and as always, click the bell, punch the subscribe button, post script a comment, um, and I'll see you in the next video.